In this video, I'm going to provide some facts about the tarantula hawk. Due to the popularity of the tarantula hawk, we're making this video as a request so that people can know a little more about it. Unlike its common name says, the tarantula hawk is actually an insect, more specifically a spider wasp. As you can see in this picture, um, on the left we have a tarantula, and then on the right you have the insect, and this, this right here is the tarantula hawk. So as I said, it, it's a spider wasp. And it's called the tarantula hawk, or more specifically, its common name is the tarantula hawk because it usually attacks tarantulas. And this insect can actually be found in many parts of the world. It's, it, it can be found in southwestern USA. It's actually the state insect of New Mexico. It can also be found in Southeast Asia, South America, Australia, and Africa. And what makes the tarantula hawk so popular, besides its name, is that its sting is actually considered one of the most painful. It's in the Schmidt Insect Sting Pain Index, it gets a score of 4, in which 4 is the maximum, same as the bullet ant. So it actually has the second most painful sting, again, just behind the bullet ant. But it only has a duration of 3 minutes. And during those three minutes, the the person or the animal that got sting is actually suffering through a lot of pain, mostly considered electric and, and hot. Now, you might be telling yourself, wow, I hope I never see one of these, but they're actually very docile. They don't attack unless provoked, and it's only the females that can sting you. The males uh, the, will not sting you. The males usually just hang around uh, different flowers like milkweeds and the females are the ones that attack the tarantulas. So uh, the funny story is that they actually attack the tarantulas not, not to eat them because they, they feed off nectar so they will just be around, around flowers. But they attack the tarantula so that when they sting them they get paralyzed and then they crawl them to their nest or the tarantula's nest and there they implant one of their their eggs so that a larva comes out and is the the baby larva that actually feeds off of the tarantula so then when you have this larva hatch it will actually be feeding off of the tarantula trying to keep it as long as it can alive but then when it dies it just goes off and it's just like any regular tarantula hawk and thinking about the venom the the only point of the venom is to inflict pain. It's actually not very toxic. So if you get stung by one of these, it will it'll just be pain, very, very excruciating pain for the three minutes, but then you'll be fine unless you're allergic to it. So the whole role of it is as a defense mechanism. So when they attack a vertebrate, like a human, the, the human will be in pain and they could run away. But there's not such a high risk for humans, and usually, unless provoked, they will not attack you. And finally, just looking at the picture again, on the left you have the tarantula, on the right is this is what the tarantula hawk looks like. So it will be this right here, and it's, it's the family of the spider wasp. And that wraps it up for this video. This was just a brief overview of some of the facts about the tarantula hawk. I hope you liked the video, if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And if you have any comments or thoughts, don't hesitate asking us.